What's up, South Africa? It's Ty Wilkerson. We are right here in the radio studio at 93.7 WDJC. I'm so fired up that you're able to check this out. Right now, we're reaching over a million people, potential listeners, and uh, so excited to have my boy right here, Xavier, with me. I'm excited to be able to maybe one day come and hang out with y'all. So, uh, man, we're just going to be able to talk and share and talk about God and, uh, man, all over the state of Alabama. So uh, keep it right here. Check this out. That is Jesse Daniels and The Noise, and you're hanging out on the Ty Show. It is Heroes Night tonight, and that means love talking to some youth pastors and uh, talk to them about what God's doing all over the, well, I usually say the state of Alabama. But I got my brother Xavier in here from South Africa. Yeah. How you doing, bro? Ah, tired, bro. I'm doing you, good. I'm doing good. <laughs> you a little bit tired tonight? Yeah, bro. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So, we got to talk about just your experience. So, uh, how many hours was your flight to Alabama? Bro, oh, okay. Obviously, I flew in... Um, all the way from South Africa, the flight lands in Atlanta, and then I fly over to Alabama. But that's 16 hours. Ooh. Do you have a little jet lag? Um, nah, not really. Uh, I, you were fired up. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm fired up. That's all that matters, man. That's so right. Whether, whether I'm tired or not, bro, I just want to get out there and go. For it. So you kind of saw the basement experience from like the beginning, from like the setup to to all the way to the end, to the breakdown. Yeah. What was kind of your take on that? Man, my, my whole take on it was that man, it takes so much work, so much effort, so much gets put in to that event. And I, I think sometimes people just come in there and it's such a crazy event and, you know, everyone's just fired up. But I think sometimes you need to be behind the scenes a little bit to see what really goes on behind the scenes and how, you know, how much work it really takes to get this thing pulled off. But, but man, the guys have been doing an awesome job. Bro. They've been doing a great yeah. job. Come on, bro. Yeah. All right, now, we got to talk about what God's been doing over in South Africa, because man, uh, you so you started as a ministry, a youth pastor. Kind of tell that story of how uh, how your ministry began to grow. Man, what happened was, uh, you know, I, I kind of took over a, an existing youth group already in church, you know. And um, what happened was there was about eight, eighty kids, around about eighty kids, and and I've been seeing, you know, the basement online. I've been watching some of the videos on YouTube, that kind of stuff, and I've really been inspired by the ministry over here in Alabama. And uh, you know, I really thought, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something like this and get people fired up for Jesus like this. And I, I went home to South Africa, man, and, and I just got this thing going. I, I got my drama team put together. I got some of my team guys put together. And man, that thing just started growing from 80 to 100 to 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. And man, we're sitting on close to, man, close to a thousand, just a little bit over 800 kids right now, Ooh. man. That come in there every Friday night. They're so fired up about Jesus, man. They're so fired up about getting this thing going. And you know, just pushing the word of God, man. Come on, that's what I'm talking yeah, about. Man. When we come back, more with my man Xavier from South Africa. It's Heroes Night on the Tide Show. Keep it right here. Heather Williams and you are love. You're on the Tide Show. Heroes Night tonight. Special guest in the studio tonight. It is my man Xavier from South Africa. What part of South Africa? Bro, I'm from Johannesburg, South Africa. That's like, yeah, that's the city. It's the J Solid. Mm, no, <laughs> Johannesburg. Alright, yeah, yeah, good yeah. stuff. Well, tonight, I, you know, I know that uh, you can kind of go through kind of a culture shock. I know um, in the past I've actually been to Nairobi, Kenya, yeah. but uh, I don't know if that's somewhat similar or a little bit different, but uh, I know that ministry can be a little bit different. Uh, how would you say that ministry is different in South Africa as compared to what goes on here in the States? Bro, I'd say, I'd say ministry is different, but I'd say, look, people's mindsets are a bit different, you know. Um, i say people are people, you know, they got the same issues, they got the same problems, they got the same thing going for them. But um, I think people's mindsets are different and, and you know, I'd say resources, uh, you know, might be, might be a bit different. I'd say... There might be some resources back home that, that we might not have yeah. that, you, that you know that you guys have right. better access to, but um, but other than that, bro, I, I guess across the world, people are people, and they got needs, they got wants, they got you know, and if you just love on them and satisfy love them, what they got, bro, love, love, love is, is that, every language, love is that language everyone understands. Bro. So, wow. So I'd say apart from the culture being different, you know, a lot of it is quite similar. A lot of it is, is quite similar. You know, I love how I love how Jesus talked about it in. That he said that you'll know who my disciples are by how they love you, yeah. and yeah. that you can always 
know that that's someone that follows Jesus by how they love you. Yeah. And that's how that we should be marked mm -hmm. as followers of Christ, by our love, man. By our love, bro. And when people come in contact with us, and they just feel that love, and they just feel that, that atmosphere, bro, they know that, you know? It's real. It's, it's real love. It's, and also, like, when you relate to them, you need to give them that true love and not be fake about it. Yeah, and, anyway, and that's, yeah. In fact, that's something I learned. That's another thing that I learned from, from today's conference with, you know, some of the leaders at the basement. And they were saying, when you love on someone, bro, you need to give them that love and it needs to be genuine. They need to feel wow. it from the inside of you. Wow. Yeah. Come on, that's good stuff. It's Xavier all the way from South Africa, Johannesburg, yeah. South Africa. Yeah. And uh, it's Heroes Night tonight. Keep it right here. We got more coming. That is seventh time down. I need someone. And it is Heroes Night, 93.7 WDJC. Got Xavier hanging out with me. He's a youth pastor in Johannesburg, South Africa. And, uh, well, I'm just going to go ahead and we got to kick it off. You got to check out what's going on. It's called The Factory. Is that right? Yes. And uh, you can check them out. Uh, you can check out some of his YouTube videos. It's your boy Zakes. It's U R B O I Z A K E S. Your boy Zakes. And uh, you can also check him out on Facebook, right? K G the Factory. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. That's and right. K G stands for what? Kingdom Generation. Kingdom Generation. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. All right. So I know you want to give a shout out to the Factory. Talk about. Just give like a shout out of how awesome things are going over there. Talk about. Uh, whatever you want, just just give a shout out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. The fact we got some awesome people making this happen every Friday night, man. We got some dedicated people who are dedicated to the vision, dedicated to the cause, man. They come in, they be selfless about what they do, and they just want to get on that in, in that place and get fired up for Jesus. Make sure everybody knows. And that's happening right at the factory. We do this every Friday night, man. It becomes, wow. you know, it becomes tiring. You need to stay on top of your game, bro. Come you on. need to be creative about what you do. Yeah. But man, we're so passionate about what we do, bro. And it happens at the factory every Friday night. And if you go onto that YouTube, onto that YouTube page, and man, you'll see, you know, all our videos. You'll see what we what we're about. And um, don't be fooled. It might look like the basement, but it's the factory. <laughs> yeah. And kind of how that came about, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, we had an uh, old abandoned factory um, that was yeah. just standing there. We took over that place and we, we checked that place up, man. We made it look nice and we just, you know, put the stage in there, the lights, you know, the cameras and the action. And so, yeah, that's that's how the name <laughs> The Factory came about. It's in, a, it's in an actual abandoned factory. Wow. Yeah. And souls being brought into the kingdom, man. My man, souls are being brought in all the time, man. Well, Xavier, I just want to say thank you for what you're doing, man. Uh, I know that your story has inspired so many. I know we had it actually, I know it was at the basement. Uh, they had it when you actually came up on stage, when you came the first time. Yeah. But they told your story yeah. and um, of just all that God's doing over in South Africa and how crazy it is that God's using a team to reach out to the next generation, man. So keep Keep doing that kingdom business, man. Yo, Ty, bro, thank you so much for having me on here tonight, man. It's it's amazing. I love your show, bro. I appreciate it, man. Thanks. Make sure you check him out. It's your boy Zakes on YouTube. Man, God's doing some awesome things. You're hanging out. Keep it right here, 93.7 WDJC. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much, man. Good job, bro. You killed that. <laughs> All natural. Yeah, <laughs> let me come around here. Hey, love you, bro. So much, bro. Absolutely, man. Get a picture here. Throw these beats on.